In this experiment, we are looking at the effectiveness of an antacid when you have a stomach ache. We are going to be illustrating that through a titration. Actually, we'll be doing a back titration. So, I have illustrated a little bit about what we're doing here. So, this kind of illustrates when you have a stomach ache. Your stomach generates hydrochloric acid normally, but sometimes when you have a stomach ache and you overeat or something, your stomach will generate more hydrochloric acid. So to neutralize this excess amount, you usually take something like Alka-Seltzer or Tums, and today we're gonna look at Alka-Seltzer. So the active ingredient on Alka-Seltzer is sodium bicarbonate, so that's NaHCO3. So let's look at that reaction in the stomach. So HCl, the stomach acid, plus sodium carbonate, sorry, sodium bicarbonate, Alka-Seltzer, yields sodium chloride plus water plus CO2 gas, and that signifies a neutralization reaction. So in our experiment, we're going to be doing a back titration to test how much HCl is consumed by the Alka-Seltzer tablets. So that means we are going to be dissolving the tablet in excess amounts of HCl, so that means more than what is required for the typical reaction of hydrochloric acid and sodium bicarbonate. And then with that, we are going to determine the excess amount of HCl not used in the reaction by titrating. So basically neutralizing the excess HCl with sodium hydroxide. The differences in these volumes is going to equal the amount consumed by the tablet. So we should be able to kind of hypothesize, is Alka-Seltzer effective in curing stomach aches caused by excess HCl generation? So let's take a look at that experiment, and if you have any questions about the calculations later on, just let me know in the comments.